What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked up battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a choice band Reverune team that was actually used to get rank one on the ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content and time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got a rank one Reverend Room team today. And Reverend Room, this is my first time using it on the rank ladder. It has stacked Pokemon alongside with it. But I'm telling you guys, this team's a lot of fun to use. So if you guys want to try it out, you guys already know the deal. Put the codes at the top right hand corner. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be the lovely Armors. This team has is stacked with the Armors and DD combo. And Armors is shown here with the Life Orb and Flash Fire as item and ability. It's got Protect, it's got Trick Room, it's got Expanded Force, and Armor Cannon for its moveset. Like I mentioned, Indeedee is also on this team that is going to be our second Pokemon with the Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds. Follow me, Trick Room, Side Shock, and Dazzling. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Choice Band Reverum. Overcoat as its ability, Rock can spin out and gunk shot for two stab moves. It has self-destruct if we want to just blow up and deal a bunch of damage to our opponents. Plus, we have that normal terror type to give that damage boost. And then last but not least, it is Rock and Parting Shot just to dip out and give a nice little attack slash special attack drop. Fourth Pokemon is going to be my boy Tatsugiri over here to pair up with that Don Dozo. This one has Commander, the Choice Scarf as item, Muddy Water, Dragon Pulse, Terra Blast, and Soak for its four moves. Don Dozo is going to be our fifth, unaware in the Covert Cloak as item, Rock and Order Up, Rest, Sleep Talk, and Body Press for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a solid special attacker. So strong in any Series 2 matchup, it is going to be Fluttermane. Protosynthesis, Focus Sash as its item, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Helping Hand for its moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, let the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Choice Band Reverend team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Fluttermane and Arcanine team with Grimmsnarl, probably Screens Grimmsnarl, and then Scizor, Delibird, and last but not least, rocking with the T-Tar for weather control, and T-Tar's just strong all around. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I do not really know. I do not really know. We got two combos on the team. We can go into the uh, Indeedee Armors, or we can go to Tatsugiri and Don Dozo. Both really, really well for this uh, matchup. But I definitely want to bring in Reverum and get him out here. Reverum is just the man. He's just a man. Look at him. A little engine that could do some damage. I'm all about him. I'm all about him. But I've been having a blast recording for you guys as of recently. So hopefully we keep up the uh, the high energy for my videos because I feel like I've been doing good for you guys. And hopefully we keep grabbing, grabbing ourselves some wins. But uh, who are we leading? That is a real question. I mean, these two could be solid, right? I mean, T-Tar might come out here, which could be a little bit of a problem. I think they are going to end up leading T-Tar. You know, I'm going to end up leading Fluttermane and maybe Don Dozo, right? Dozo's not bad. Go Fluttermane, Don Dozo, bring the Geary in the back end, and then last but not least, have the Rever Room. I do really like that. We're going to go into that. We're going to go into first team without the Indeedee Armor. I'm all about it. I know he does have Scissor and we could set up Psychic Train, but I tried to use Indeedee and Armors the least I could possibly use it because I know it's just so easy to use guys seen this so much i thought i'd show you guys something different. so if i have a chance not to go into it i won't but sometimes i will especially if i'm using the team with them on it but t-tar is going to be the lead alongside with grimmy grim so fluttermane is an amazing lead. it's a lovely little lead a lovely little lead so i wonder what t-tar is going to go i think they definitely set up the uh the, what's it called i think they are going to set up the the screens and maybe even terrestrialize the T-Tar. I'm just gonna drop a nice little body press. I'm just gonna start chunking up some damage. Light screen comes out and about. He does not end up terrestrializing, which is a little weird. It's definitely a little weird. Gleam is still going to fly, chip up some nice damage. T-Tar's got that vest, doesn't it? T-Tar's definitely got that vest. The rock slide does a lot of damage to my flutter main, but body press is gonna be four times super effective and just get rid of it. So you are gone. Get it on out of here. Uh flutter main is chilling right now. We could swap into the Tatsugiri if we want to and save Fluttermane for back end. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. But Sandstorm, a little bit of a problem. We don't like it. We don't like the Sandstorm. We don't like it. We do not like it. So depending on who he goes into, I might just hard swap into the Tatsugiri here. And it's going to be Iron Bundle. So Bundle's going to come out here. What is my Terror type is the real question. What is my Terror type? Because I would love to just body press into that, right? Body press would be a solid play for us. Speed's going to be heightened for him. 
What is your terror type? Because I want to swap into Tatsugiri. And your terror type steel. That is... Wow. It is, that is perfect. That is perfect. So, yeah. We're going to swap into Tatsu here. And I feel like we just terrestrialize. And we throw a nice, lovely body press right over onto the Iron Bundle. Even though I think he's going to send up a reflect. But now it is time to get out the Don Dozo. Right? It's just a perfect time to do that. Especially with our terror type. I love it. Because I think a freeze drive might even come out here. So we're going to swap now. I feel like that was just such a perfect lead, right? He might even protect the, the Deli Bird, but we'll deal with it when it comes. And we are also going to Terrasalize. So stats going to be boosted. Terror is going to come out here. I wonder what Deli Bird's going to do. I feel like Deli Bird can learn Haste, but he is going to end up Terrasalizing. Is that going to be a Deli Bird Terror in the water, maybe? What is your Terror, Deli Bird? It's going to be Straight Water. So Straight Water, Deli Bird. Okay, I'm cool with that. That is totally fine. I am very bulky as, at the moment. I'm going to Thrasalize this one. So I could go for an order up next turn. I could body press into Grimstraw. We can protect. We got a lot of different options. We also have rest on this thing, which could work really well for us. I am scared of the Hydro Pump, too. Into the Steel, into the steel type. But out comes the Reflect. I was kind of, uh... Kind of reading that one on the reflect, pretty obvious. But free shots gonna come out here. We're gonna block super easily. And bri body press now gonna fly and chuck up some nice damage. The buffet's gonna fly from sandstorm. That's actually really good for us. And do I go after Grimstone here? Do I go after Grimstone? Do I go after Grimstone or do I stay into the iron bundle slot? Hmm. I'm gonna go into the iron bundle slot here. Grimstrong goes for the party shot. No protect comes out, which is good. And I mean, that's only gonna minus our attack one. We're still plus one, which is solid, but Deli Bird might get a nice little survival here. Now, Grimstrong's gonna go back out. I'm not too worried about that considering I have a lovely little Fluttermane in the back end. And he's gonna bring out his final Pokemon, which is Arcanine. Okay, so actually, it's really solid place for him. That puts me back to normal attack stat. I'm normal on attack. I'm normal on attack, but my defense is still booked up. He's going to throw a high pump here. Should be able to soak, and I can definitely, if I pick up a KO here, which I might, I have a chance of picking up a KO. I could rest next turn. I could definitely rest next turn. The order up comes out here. Wow. The soaking ability. Defense is going to get boosted. Oh, uh, we're bulked up. We're bulked up. Do I rest right now? I could rest. I could definitely rest here. I might want to rest. I definitely want to rest. But he's going to go for the uh, the flare butts into me. I'm bulked up plus three. He's going to Hydro Pump. I'm going to rest, go up to full HP. Because I should be able to eat up this Hydro Pump. And on top of that, yeah, we outspeed. No, you outspeed? Hold up. Hold up there, partner. You're outspeeding my plus two Don Dozo. That's a little whack. Okay. I can deal with it. I can deal with that. I guess I can deal with that. A little whack, but I'll deal with it. Now we can bring out my boy Reverum. Reverum can get cooking out here. And Choice Scarf Tatsugiri might have a shot at outspeeding that. Uh, that what's it called? Which could be good. I could bring out Reverum. But Choice Scarf Tatsugiri might have a chance at outspeeding the, the Deli Bird. Actually, I don't think it does. Hmm. What is my play here? What is my play here? Rev Room just self-destructing? That might be my play. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that might be my play. I do like the Rev Room. Mm. We're gonna go into Fluttermane. We are gonna go into Fluttermane. This is really scary. Do I protect Fluttermane? And attack with the Tatsugiri? That's the thing. If he hits me with a freeze drive, we die. I'm going to go into Muddy Water. Do I just clean? Do I Shadow Ball? I feel like I have to protect. This is tough. This is tough. We're going to protect the Fluttermane. Hopefully, Deli Bird goes after Fluttermane. East Speed comes out here. We soaked that. Deli Bird, go after Fluttermane. It does. Okay, that's big time. That's big time. That's real big time. That's real big time. That's big, big time. That is big, big time. That is huge. That is huge. That is really big. Because now I can gleam. 
now I can freely gleam I had the rev room mm, can rev room deal with that Arcanine I think like we just target down the Arcanine right I think like we have to target down the Arcanine here because rev room can 1v1 the Grimstarl but rev room cannot 1v1 the Arcanine so getting rid of this Arcanine is going to be big time so I'm going to shadow ball into the Arcanine I'm also going to muddy water and we're going to get after that one. East Speed comes out here, picks up the KO. I need the KO with the Shadow Ball, right? And I don't know if I can with Light Screen out and about. Can we do it? Can you do it, Fluttermane? Can you do it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're telling me that Arcanine survives that? God dang, Light Screen. We got Rever Room left. God dang Reverum. Reverum's chilling here. 142 speed. I don't think you outspeed. Considering that Arcanine outsped a plus to you. I mean, okay, never mind. Actually, that makes sense. You're 55 speed. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> that makes sense. Reverum has a chance to outspeed an Arcanine. It does have a chance, but I don't think it can. Reverum out and about. We have to take out Arcanine. We have to take out Arcanine. And... What do I go for? Low accuracy or lower my speed? I'd rather lower my speed. Because again, we can 1v1 Grimstone. We just have to get rid of Arcanine. Can we outspeed Arcanine? We do not. Can you eat this up, please? No shot. No shot eats it up. That hurts, man. Match number one, we end up losing. It was this close. Could have went either way. If Arcanine didn't survive there, if they didn't have screens, we would have won that match. But hey, it's all good. Match number one goes to our opponent. We're hopping into our second match. Let's go grab ourselves a win and showcase Rev Room a lot better than we did in match number one. We're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. Full-out Trick Room team. They're rocking Hariyama, not Iron Hands. OG Hariyama, Orangaroo, Torkoal, King Gambit, Skull Villain, and last but not least, they also have the one and only Annihilate. Okay, so Orangaroo is definitely going to be the lead. Right? Orangaroo's got to be the lead. I might even self-destruct. I might even just rip in with this thing, right? Rev Room can get some work done. I'm going to lead Rev Room. They could. They're probably going to go into a Fake Out user. So I might pop you. I could actually go into you and I could, don't I have Trick Room on you? Do I have Trick Room on you? I do, I could counter the Trick Room. That's exactly what we would do. I don't want their first turn priority for fake outs. Um, Psychic's gonna be pretty good for us, but we can also counter Trick Room. So I'm gonna go into you and I can lower speed on you as well with my, my spin outs, but I'm liking this lead. I'm liking this lead. Right here, we block first turn priority. We get off some big damage. And then from there, we can roll into Armor Rouge. Got to bring in the arm rouge and last but not least, go into Fluttermane. Got to have Fluttermane in there somewhere. Fluttermane's just so strong. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But match number two is on its way. We got to grab ourselves our first victory, especially because we're using Rev Room. I might even self-destruct turn one. I do not know yet. We're figuring out as we go. We are figuring this out as we go. But yeah, I have Indeedee. I have arm rouge in the back end. This is a match where we have to bring arm rouge. If they set up Trick Room, we're in trouble. It's like a guaranteed loss. But Hariyama and Oranga will come out here. This is exactly why I want to bring in Indeedee. And we can get after it that way. I could self-destruct. I could just rip into a self-destruct. I could do that. I could do that. But I'm going to have the Psychic Seeds. I might follow me. Do I follow me? Real question. Gunk Shot, Spin Out. I could lower my speed. No, I'm going to go for a Gunk Shot. I'm gonna choice to a gunk shot. Let's run it. And I'm gonna counter the trick room by sending a trick room over. That is gonna be my fly. I could actually terrasize, but actually, I'm just gonna. Mm. Alright, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna counter the trick room by sending a trick room of, of my own. The gunk shot's gonna land here. 120. Oh my damage. Oh my damage. I'm gonna get the poison, which is gorgeous. So I think Hariyama's gonna go for a close combat and try to take out my. Or just go for a knockoff that works. And do that to Ndidi. I thought he was going to go for close combat. And I'm going to pop a Trick Room. Because I think he's popping a Trick Room, right? We can pull this off. That's huge. Let's go. Big time read. We cancel out their Trick Room. And now we're sitting here ready to gunk shot up. Lovely. Lovely. Poison shipping up. A Psychic should be able to take that thing out. And this thing is now burned. And as his Guts triggered, it's ready to go. I'm cool with that. I'm now going to throw a gunk shot in this slot. And I'm just going to gleam across the because Gleam should take out a right. I like that. 
I like that a lot. So we canceled out his Trick Room. I think this is its only Trick Room center on the team. I really do think that's it. Gunk Shot lands again. This thing's rip. Oh! Revs! Yo, Reva Room! Reva Room! Oh my lord, that thing's nasty! This thing is shutting it down. It is shutting it down. One shotting a Hariyama. No problem. It ain't no problem. And I'm landing gunk shots, man. That's two for two on the gunk shots. I think we're due for a miss here on the gunk shots, but Gambit's gonna come out here. Gambit is a problem, but we'll deal with it as as we uh as we go. We have our moves for that. And Torko's gonna come out here. Okay. The Torky Torque's gonna come out here. I wish I could self-destruct at this point. Drought's scary. I think we just target down the Torkoal, right? We have to target down Torkoal. We're gonna go after Torkoal and I guess we'll just side shock the Torkoal, right? We'll double down into Torkoal. Hopefully no protects come out from Torkoal. The Gambit protects. No shot. The Gambo protects. And we land another gunk shot. Oh my god. This thing's insane. This thing is ungodly broken. It is ripping. It is ripping. It is ripping. Gunk shot. Base 120. Stab on top. That comes into base... Turns into base 180. Wow. We can't use it again. I'm just going to swap you into arm rouge. Actually, that's a bad play. We'll just let him die. Actually, no. We'll swap into Fluttermane, I guess. A little bit of Fluttermane swap. And I guess we'll just throw a Gleam into the slot. But I think he cancels battle, right? Yeah, battle was canceled. Sweeping in match number one. That's how it's done. Third and final match coming at you guys. And that is how it's done. That is how it's done. Match number two. We absolutely ripped into it. Rev Room did not miss a gunk shot and was just teeing off on Pokemon. One shot at Hariyama, one shot, shot at Torkoal. Considering we got a crit, it's still a heck of amount of damage. It is a crazy amount of damage, but we're looking for that winning record. Going up against Ndidi and Armour's team with Volcarona, who is so strong. Volcarona is just solid all around. Iron Hands, Iron Bundle, and last but not least, Gardevoir. Gardevoir. I definitely want Rev Room back in here. Rev Room is just, he's him. He's him. I could go into a self destruct with him. I might go Rev Room as lead. I'm going to go Rev Room. I'm going to also bring my Arm Rouge. I definitely want my Arm Rouge in here somewhere. And I'm thinking of going in DD Arm Rouge, but actually we could go in DD Arm Rouge as a lead and bring Rev Room in the back end. I do dig that. I, I do like that. Third they have Iron Hands, I really don't want the first turn priority to do us dirty, but we're going to bring in everybody except for the Don Dozo combo, right? Sounds good. Makes sense. Let's rip into it. Let's rip into it. But I cannot believe we did. Like that thing was just one shot in Pokemon left and right. Hariyama full HP, see you later. Gunk shot, took it out. Crazy strong. But I was actually more fortunate to actually land those gunk shots because 80 actually is not that high. I felt like we should have missed at least one of them out of the three. But I'll take the RNG. I'll definitely take the RNG. But he ends up going into, okay. Armor is without Ndidi and actually makes a smart play because we set the terrain for him and he gets an extra slide out on that. Okay. So Armor Rouge versus Armor Rouge. Rougie Rouge versus Rougie Rouge. Uh, I just wanted to go after you, right? Expanding force across the board. Makes the most sense. I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. I am going to do that. We are going to expand and force across the board, and he's just going to Y guard. Okay, so Y guard comes out here. Pretty smart play right off the rip. Y guard on his. That's such crazy. Bug Buzz is going to deal some nice damage to me, I was going to say. Bug Buzz chipping up some damage. Go for a Psy Shock. That's also chipping up some nice damage. Expanded Force is going to get blocked. Do I go for another Expanded Force is a real question. Do I just Armor Cannon that Volcarona? I think I just Armor Cannon that Volcarona. I could swap you. Into Revs. Revs the man. I'm going to... Mm, I don't really care for Ndidi to be honest. I really don't care for Ndidi. I really don't care for Ndidi. I'm going to get rid of you. Hopefully he goes for another Y guard. He just withdraws armors. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with that. And who's he going to send out here? His own indeed he's going to come out here. What a protect. What a lovely protect. So armor cannon's going to get blocked. That's actually fine. I could have swapped into Rever Room that turn. That would have been a good turn to do it. Would have been a lovely turn to do it. Armor cannon's going to get blocked. So is this. Kind of sucks. All right. We get after it now. Could go for another. I could go for expanding force now. 
I think I'm just gonna gleam and expand force. Seems free, right? I'm down with it. I wonder what Nadidi's doing here. I really do. I wonder. I, 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 I'm a little confused on that swap. Swap into Indeedy? It's a little weird. Because now you don't have no wide guard. Now my expanded force lands through. It is weird. That is a weird swap. It definitely is. A, it's an odd swap. It's an. I wouldn't say it's a weird. It's an odd swap. You know? Follow me comes out here. That's totally fine. That's pretty much a waste of a turn, right? This bug buzz can come through here. That's going to KO me. And then I get off this expanding force. Which expanded force will kill the Volcarona. And yeah, I'll take an NDD death for a Volcarona death. That, that seems like a... A good trade for on my end. But out comes the expanded force. Should take out Volcarona. Yep. And deal a nice chunk of damage to Indeed. I'll win it. And now, now, only now, I bring out Revenant, right? Do I protect on. Oh, this thing has a jack button, too. Oh, I might self destruct on Revenant. I might Terra and self destruct and just look to end this. Look to just explode here. Look to just explode. I think I'm with it. Because you have protect, you do have protect. Oh, Revenant. Get on out here. Get on out here. We might have to just blow this thing up, right? Because if indeed he's the last Pokemon, we can deal with that. No problem. And we'll see who this Pokemon is. It's going to be Gardevoir. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Send us. Send us. We are exploding. We are kabooming. We are kabooming. This thing has overcoat now. It's all good. But I am just going to kaboom, right? Two Base 200. Terrasalize goes to 300. We're booming. We got to boom, right? We got to boom. And we got to protect. I got to make sure that uh, Reverend Mouth speeds in uh, armors, right? Oh my god, yeah. Wow, we are booming. We are booming. We got. <laughs> we have to boom. It's like the, the Pokey guys just send us this chance to boom. This is like a perfect chance to just boom. We are booming. Send it. Send it. Not ready for it. Our opponent's not ready for the boom booms. Big time kabooms. So we Terras I'm super excited to see this. I hope it does a lot of damage. I'm not too sure how much damage it's gonna do. But that's my armor is protecting. I'd be upset if, if they end up protecting. Armor cat. You outspeed me? Are you choice? You gotta be choice. Are you you gotta be choice, right? It's a fast armor. Rouge. But why would a choice have Y guard, right? That just ruined my day. I was so excited to go booms. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Yo, I was so hyped to go to do that. I was insanely hyped. It's messed up, yo. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. We're gonna lose this battle because of that. I mean, I'm gonna shadow ball this slot down. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. That ain't cool one bit. What is that? What is that? Is this Armored's choice? I wish I could tell. He withdraws. That's fine. We're going to withdraw here. It's actually a smart withdrawal. No, I'm going for the Shadow Ball. But yo, that ain't right. That ain't right. I did not get off my self destruct. And that one hurts. That one hurts. Psychic's gonna fly through here. That's gonna chuck up some nice damage. Now I'm down to 40. And you're outspeeding me too. Armor Cannon comes through here. Does not KO that thing. And I gotta go into some gleams here, right? Gleam, gleam time. Gleam, gleam time into another armor can. No, not Shadow Ball. Gleam. But you outspeed everybody. Into armor cannon. The follow me might come out here. Kinda like where we're sitting. I think the only problem would be if the hard swaps into armors. Oh, wait, they still have Terra. They do still have Terra, which is scary. That, I'm so upset. <laughs> you guys are probably all hyped for it as well. The Gleam flies here. Takes out you. Can you you out armors? You don't outspeed, do you? I hope you do. That'd be awesome. You do not. That hurts soul. That's going to take you out, isn't it? Yeah, and that's pretty much game set match. My defense is in the dumps. My defense is in the dumps. Armor Cannon's going to take you out. It's going to turn to a 1v1. His armors can 1v1 me. But, dude, I'm so upset that that armor outsped me. I'm telling you, it's got to be choice. It keeps swapping out. But that swap out was actually... The second swap out was really good. We're outspeeding my 147 Reverend Room. I actually kind of want to see that thing's speed stats. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look this thing up. 
armor rouge. I want to see this thing's stats. I want to see this thing's stats real quick. Maybe I just don't know. It speeds low. It can't. I actually no. It can get up to. It can get up to higher. Yeah, I mean, I guess if it's EVs are maxed out in speed, right? It makes the most sense, but it just doesn't make sense that it's EVs would be in speed, right? It just doesn't make sense. But that's gonna be game here. Ah, uh, I guess I just battle it out. But he's gonna expand and force me. I think armor can does a little bit more, but he doesn't want to drop defense. But look how much damage that does. I need like a crit or something, a mega crit. Give me a mega crit. <laughs> oh wow, is that a crit? Oh my, we, that would have been wild. That would have been wild if we won that match. Imagine we outspe outspeed. That would have been absurd. That would have been absurd if we won that match. I, I would apologize, but that's going to be the game. That's going to be the game. Wow. <laughs> if we would have won that, the Pokey Gods did give me the crit I wanted. They did give me the crit I wanted, but that would have been wild if we would have won that match. But third match goes to our opponent. We end up losing it. But hey, all around, I think we showcased Rev Room really well. One and two for today's video. Wish we would have grabbed ourselves another win, but hey, it's all good. First match came down to the wire. We ended up losing to a screen and like a one HP Arcanine. And then that third and final battle, we lost to an Arm Rouge on this much HP and an Arm Rouge that outsped my Rev Room. Because if, if it did not outspeed my Rev Room, we would have just ripped into it with the self-destruct. Pretty much won that game, but it's all good. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.